This new continuous glucose monitor has been shrouded in secrecy for many months, but a couple of weeks ago I could finally get my hands on it and test it for you. This bad boy has a big ambition. It's going to the battle with the big guys, Freestyle Libre 3 and Dexcom G7. Now what makes me super excited about this CGM system is that it's bringing a new impressive feature that I've never tried before, a feature that Freestyle Libre or Dexcom can't really offer right now. And that's why, as you can imagine, I was very much looking forward to testing this one. The company behind this new CGM sensor is no stranger to the diabetes space. In fact, I have personal experience with one of their older products, the good old Minimat 640G insulin pump, which serves me really well from 2016 till 2020. But back to the new CGM system we're after today. It's called Simplera, and if you haven't guessed it by now, it's made by none other than Medtronic. Now here is the catch. Medtronic has been falling behind in the CGM space, so they really need Simplera to strike. And that's probably why they've been keeping this new system tightly under wraps. At last year's ATTD conference, these new Simplera sensors were locked away behind closed doors. I managed to get a sneak peek, but it wasn't easy. No photos, no videos, and I was not allowed to talk about it on my channel. But now I finally can. So let's have a look at what Simplera can do, and if it's really simple, as the name suggests. Right from the get-go, we can see that Simplera is a modern-looking all-in-one sensor. It's a massive improvement to the form factor compared to the previous CGM made by Medtronic. See, I never really tried the old Guardian sensors, because as you can see on this footage where Rob is putting one of them on, they were bulky and super complicated to apply. You had to place the sensor in the inserter, apply the sensor, remove the needle, tape down the sensor, attach the transmitter and tape down the whole thing again. That whole process was ridiculous. But the new Simplera has a single piece design and that's why the application process is way easier. You just clean the site with alcohol, remove the cap from the applicator, place the applicator flat against the site and press it firmly against the body until you hear a click. It's a one click insertion, no over taping, no nonsense like that. The only extra thing you might want to do is to smooth down the adhesive with your finger to make sure the sensor is stuck properly to your skin. My initial impression was that the Simplera adhesive was really good. But I'll tell you more about how it did during my real life test a bit later in this video. Now here are a few things that I really like about the Simplera system. When we compare it to its predecessor Guardian 4, we immediately notice that Simplera sensor is a lot smaller, about half of the size of Guardian 4. When we put it next to competitors, Simplera looks less rounded, it has more of a square shape. And in terms of size, it is fairly comparable with the Freestyle Libre 2 sensor maybe a tiny bit sleeker. But when I put Simplera next to Dexcom G7, we can see that Simplera is quite a bit bigger and a lot more bright and shiny. And here you can see Simplera next to Freestyle Libre 3, again, quite a bit bigger and more robust than the latest Freestyle Libre sensor. But here is one thing that I really like about the form factor of Simplera. The surface of the sensor is somewhat sloped and the edges are rounded, which means that Simplera is not as flat as some other CGMs. This might seem like a tiny detail, but in real life this is super practical because Simplera doesn't get stuck on things as much as some other sensors. Believe me or not, it's actually quite hard to knock it off, so good job on this Medtronic. Now once the Simplera sensor is inserted, you need to pair it with your phone. To do that, you just select the sensor serial number and enter a six digit code in the Simplera app. The app is available in both iOS and Android in all countries where the system has been launched. After pairing your first sensor, you need to give it two hours to warm up before you get your first glucose reading. But I'll tell you a secret, there is a way, a little trick how to get around the two hour warm up time. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Now, as soon as I got my first Simplera reading, I immediately went ahead and compared it to my blood reading. When I did that, I got even more excited because the first reading was pretty much on point. That was really promising because I rarely see CGMs being this accurate right from the get-go. But of course, this was not the only time I checked. Actually, I did multiple checks at normal, high and low blood sugar levels over the course of my 21-day test to see how accurate this sensor really is in real life of a diabetic. 
I will show you a complete overview and comparison of my readings from the Simpler CGM and blood readings a bit later in this video. Now the reason why I ran the accuracy test for exactly 21 days was that Medtronic sent me three of these sensors. And unfortunately Simplera's lifetime is only seven days, which quite honestly is a bit disappointing because the other players on the market can last longer. But Medtronic's goal is to eventually extend the sensor lifetime from seven to 14 days. So let's hope this happens sooner rather than later. Now the Simplera sensor is factory calibrated, so you technically don't need to do finger sticks. The sensor reads the glucose data from the interstitial fluid using a filament placed under the skin and sends the data to your phone via Bluetooth, just like the other modern CGMs. The reading on the screen updates every five minutes and you can also see how long ago the reading was last updated, which is quite helpful. During my testing, the Bluetooth connection between the sensor and my phone was quite reliable and stable. I didn't lose the connection as long as the phone was in the same room as the sensor. Now, if you don't like to monitor your glucose on your phone, or if you're used to using a separate CGM receiver, then I have bad news for you. There is no such thing as a receiver available with Simplera. But on the other hand, you can view your glucose data on your smartwatch, which is super practical. It's not direct though, so your phone needs to be in the Bluetooth reach for the watch readings to update. Now let's talk a bit more about the side change process. Simplera sensors are designed and approved to be worn on the back of the upper arm. Children aged 2 to 17 can also use their upper buttocks. During my testing, I was wearing the sensor exclusively on my upper arm, as prescribed, and it worked really well. But if for whatever reason you can't use the upper arm, I can imagine that alternative sides like thigh, chest, or even abdomen might work for off-label use. Now remember the two-hour warm-up time I mentioned earlier in this video? When you're doing a side change and starting your second sensor, you can completely avoid this two hour wait and you can avoid any gaps in your graph too. To do that, simply apply a new Simplera sensor two hours before the old sensor expires. Don't activate it, just let it sit there for exactly two hours. Now, two hours later, as soon as you stop receiving readings from the old sensor, go ahead and pair the new sensor in the app. The two hour warm up period will have been over by then and you will start receiving readings from the new sensor right away. This will result in a pretty much uninterrupted flow of your glucose data and no gaps in the glucose graph. Now, again, this is a little bit of an off-label use. It's not exactly recommended to do it anywhere in the manual or instructions, but you can try to see if it works for you. Now, before we talk about the number one feature of Simplera that really makes it stand out amongst their competitors, I want to share with you a couple more things that I discovered during my testing. Over the last three weeks, I've been comparing my Simplera readings to my Dexcom G6 readings and my glucometer readings. I did that every single day. And as you can see, most of the time Simplera did extremely well, especially at normal and slightly elevated blood sugar levels. These are shown in green. Pretty damn close, if not exactly on point. The only couple issues that I saw were at very low, borderline hypoglycemic blood sugar levels, shown in red. At these levels, Simplera was showing a bit lower numbers than my Dexcom and my glucometer. But the difference was not dramatic. Unfortunately, my last Simplera sensor failed three days too early which is shown in yellow here. And that's why I do not have a comparison for these three days. But to be honest, I'm not quite sure why the sensor failed. There are no signs of the sensor peeling off, even after the full seven days of use. In fact, the Simplera adhesive proved to be extremely durable and caused no irritation to my skin. So it definitely wasn't an adhesive problem. Now, one thing I have mixed feelings about is the Simplera app. The main screen shows you your current glucose value and graph. I like the dark mode and some of the visual elements of the app, but zooming in and zooming out, for example, on the glucose graph just doesn't work. You need to fix it, Medtronic. Now, what I quite like is that the app offers various alarm options. You can snooze your alarms and customize them a lot more than with Freestyle Liberate 3, for example. But on the other hand, when we compare Simplera to Dexcom G7, the level of customization still leaves quite a lot to be desired. The Simplera app doesn't allow you to calibrate your reading and it doesn't really provide you any kind of overview where you could look at your data more holistically. The only way to do that is in the Medtronic Caring portal on a computer, where your data gets automatically loaded every 24 hours. If you're a caregiver, you can also follow the CGM data of your loved ones on your own phone using the Caring Connect app. Now let's talk about the one thing that makes Simplera really stand out. 
Remember I mentioned that it's bringing something that Freestyle Libre and Dexcom can't really offer right now? Well, here it comes. See, Simplera is designed in a way that you can use it as a standalone CGM, like I just showed you. But you can also use it as part of a smart MDI system with InPen, which is Medtronic's smart insulin pen. Based on what I was told, all Simplera users will get the InPen for free as part of the package. Now, here is how it all works. Your CGM is measuring and tracking your glucose data. The smart insulin pen is tracking all the injections you take and all the insulin that's been delivered. These two pieces of information are sent to the InPen app, where you can view everything. But the best thing is that the data from Simplera is being sent in real time. So the InPen has all the information in real time. And that's really important because that's why the insulin dose calculator can suggest correction doses and meal doses depending on what you're eating. And it can do it really well. The app also picks up on rising glucose levels and detects missed mealtime bolus, which is pretty amazing. I'm seriously thinking of ditching my insulin pump for a few weeks and giving this smart MDI system a try. Hit like if you'd like me to make a detailed video about it. But speaking of insulin pumps, Medtronic also have another version of the Simplera sensor in their sleeve or in their pipeline rather. It's called Simplera Instinct and it uses the same technology as Simplera, but it's designed to integrate and connect to Medtronic's closed loop pump, such as 780G. Now I know the one question you all want to ask is, when will all these systems be available in my country? But before I get to that, I have a big favor to ask you. I'm typically not getting paid for making diabetes tech videos like this one, but if you're getting value from what I do, if you enjoy my content and want to support me, go to patreon.com slash type1talks and join my community. By doing that, you get direct access to me and more than 40 pieces of exclusive bonus content. All that for just seven bucks a month. Places in my Patreon group are limited, so go ahead and join while you still can. Link is down below. So where and when is Simplera available? Well, it is already launched in a number of European countries. You can see a full list of these countries on the screen. Plus, there are a couple more countries countries being added in March of this year. In the US, Simplera was submitted to the FDA and it's waiting for the approval. Simplera Instinct, which is the combination of Simplera Sensor with Medtronic's AID algorithm, is currently under European review, but it's not yet available on the market in Europe or in the US. But the thing is, Simplera is not the only new glucose sensor that hit the market this year. In fact, just recently I tested another new CGM that you probably have never heard of. So so go ahead, click this video and watch it next to find out what it is. I will see you there. Ciao.